Jimin's album was sabotaged. Jimin's father faces criticism from netizens. Jimin expresses his regret, BTS member to be discharged soon, and Jungkook regrets starting his career so early and the negative effects it had on him. Watch till the end to find out more. In July, BTS's Jimin released his second solo album, Muse, which was also made available in a physical format. At launch, fans had the option to purchase one of three unique versions of the album, including a special edition available exclusively through Weverse. Shortly after its release on July 19th, multiple fans began reporting issues with the album's physical quality. A prominent TikTok user captured and shared a video detailing their efforts to repair the disintegrating albums. The video rapidly gained traction, with many fans expressing similar disappointments. Some reported that their albums arrived already damaged. This problem isn't isolated to Muse. Past releases from BTS members like Suga, performing as Agus D and J-Hope have encountered similar issues. From a personal standpoint, there's a profound connection between music fans and the physical albums they collect. Handling an album, feeling its weight and texture, and admiring its artwork are all part of how fans experience music. When these physical items degrade, it diminishes a part of this experience. However, the determination of fans to restore these albums highlights a strong sense of resilience and a deep appreciation for these cultural items. This incident also sparks important discussions about the quality and longevity of music products. It raises questions about the balance between producing a tangible art piece and ensuring it can endure as both a cultural icon and a sustainable product. The difficulties encountered by fans with these albums serve as a critical reminder of the need for high standards of quality and ethical considerations in the production of music. Therefore, conversations about the quality of these physical albums are crucial as they prompt broader considerations about innovation, perseverance, and ethical standards in the music industry. These discussions extend into larger societal concerns about how art is consumed and preserved. At the Magnate Cafe in Busan, owned by the father of Jimin, fans can immerse themselves in a space filled with BTS memorabilia. Expanding the brand, the cafe recently launched a merchandise line called Z Millennial that subtly incorporates elements associated with BTS. The items feature lyrics, alongside personalized touches relating to Jimin, such as references to his nickname Mochi, his birth year, and lunar symbols reflective of his tattoos, in addition to a calico cat mascot, symbolizing Jimin. Despite the creative alignment with BTS themes, the pricing of the merchandise raised eyebrows among netizens. Luxury items in the collection, including certain pieces of jewelry, are priced at nearly $300, with even smaller items like a handheld fan priced around $30. Further controversy was sparked by the sale of shirts featuring the autograph of Jimin's father, stirring debate over the appropriateness of monetizing personal signatures. This development led to lively exchanges online, with fans and critics alike commenting on the perceived exorbitance of the prices. Concerns were voiced over the ethics of such high pricing, particularly in merchandise that leverages the personal and familial associations of popular public figures. The introduction of this high-priced merchandise brings to light broader discussions about ethical marketing and consumer rights within fan-centric communities. It challenges the community to consider the balance between supporting beloved artists and the commercial tactics that may exploit this devotion. This scenario also serves as a reflection point on consumer advocacy and ethical business practices, questioning how businesses can honor their artistic inspirations while respecting their audience's economic realities. This discussion is crucial in maintaining the integrity of fan relationships and ensuring that commercial ventures do not detract from the genuine engagement and admiration that define fan communities. There was noticeable unrest among online communities following the release of a trailer by Netflix for the new series, Watch Pop Star Academy Cat's Eye. This series, produced in collaboration with Hybe and Geffen, aims to spotlight the formation of the global girl group Cat's Eye. A particular segment of the trailer elicited significant controversy. It featured a statement suggesting that the creators of BTS had ambitions to globalize the genre by removing the K from K-pop. This remark did not sit well with viewers, especially ARMYs, who argued that BTS was not simply created by HYBE, but was instead a product of the members' own determination and collective effort. Furthermore, they felt that the comment about making K-pop global seem to diminish the global influence BTS has already achieved, 
which has significantly contributed to the international prominence of the K-pop genre. The idea of detaching K-pop from its cultural roots by removing the K has been previously voiced by HYBE's chairman. However, it has consistently been met with criticism from those who view such a move as potentially undermining the identity and cultural significance of Korean pop music. Reflecting on this scenario, it's crucial to recognize the sensitivity required when discussing the origins and global expansion of cultural phenomena like K-pop. As someone who follows the evolution of music industries, this incident highlights the delicate balance between innovation and respect for cultural origins. It serves as a reminder that in the quest for global appeal, the industry must tread carefully to respect the foundational elements that originally defined and elevated the genre on the world stage. This balance is not just about maintaining cultural integrity, but also about respecting the artists and communities that contribute to the genre's success. Recent developments have surfaced concerning BTS member J-Hope as he nears the completion of his military service, with his discharge scheduled for October 17th. Photos of J-Hope donning his military uniform have been widely circulated on X, showcasing his role as a drill instructor at the 36th Infantry Division Recruit Training Center. J-Hope has been actively involved in training activities, and with only two months remaining until his discharge, he participated in a ceremony marking the completion of training for a group of recruits. This event was significant as it represented the last batch of trainees he would oversee. Described by his peers as an elite soldier, J-Hope has made a noteworthy impact during his service. During the ceremony, a commanding officer made a point of acknowledging J-Hope's contributions to the unit which was met with appreciative applause from those present. Videos from the ceremony showed J-Hope engaging respectfully with the trainees and their families, managing his responsibilities with a blend of humility and efficiency. Reflecting on his time in service, J-Hope shared that the sense of fulfillment he gained from his role as an instructor paralleled the meaningful experiences he has had with BTS. This sentiment underscores the personal growth and adaptability that can emerge from new challenges even those outside one's usual scope of activities. In observing J-Hope's journey through his military service, it's a reminder of the broader implications of such roles in shaping personal and professional growth. The commitment demonstrated by J-Hope in embracing and excelling in a role far removed from the global stages he is accustomed to speaks volumes about the ethos of perseverance and adaptability. This not only enhances his personal narrative, but also resonates with anyone who faces and embraces new challenges in their own lives. Jimin recently shared an emotional moment with his fans, expressing regret that he could not join in the celebration of his latest music release, Muse. On August 5th, Hybe Labels released a behind-the-scenes video on their YouTube channel, featuring insights from Jimin. In the video, Jimin revealed he had bleached his hair for the first time in nearly two years, a change he knew would prompt fans to anticipate new projects. He voiced his apologies for his absence and expressed a poignant sentiment about not being able to share in the joy of the album's release, although he was confident that fans would still find enjoyment in it. Jimin had enlisted in the South Korean military on December 12, 2023, and had pre-recorded music videos and behind-the-scenes content for Muse prior to his service. The release of these materials during his service sparked a heartfelt response from fans, who expressed both their sadness at his absence and their continued support. One fan's message highlighted the bittersweet nature of celebrating the new album without him, while others vowed to wait for his return when all BTS members could resume group activities. This situation underscores the deep bond between artists and their communities, a dynamic that extends beyond mere musical enjoyment to a shared emotional journey. As someone who has observed numerous artists go on hiatus, the resonance of such moments with fans is profound and speaks to the broader impact of music in forging connections. The scenario of Jimin's enlistment and the release of Muse during this period is a testament to the perseverance of an artist committed to his craft and the dedication of fans who stand by even in absence. Furthermore, the behind-the-scenes footage not only showcased Jimin's preparations, but also his interaction with co-artist Sophia Carson, with whom he performed the duet Slow Dance. Their collaboration and Jimin's efforts to share his culture by teaching Carson a phrase in Korean reflect the innovation and cultural exchange that are often integral to global music productions. As Jimin's discharge approaches in June 2025, anticipation grows not only for his return, but also for the upcoming reality show, Are You Sure?, featuring him and Jungkook, set to release on Disney Plus in August 2024. 
These developments illustrate a narrative of continued engagement and evolution, both for Jimin and the BTS community, underscoring themes of perseverance and the enduring bond between artists and their fans. In the recent footage, Jimin also reminisced about his childhood in the countryside, where he would use balsam flowers to dye his mother's nails. He described the process of grinding the flowers and applying the paste to his mother's nails, which would inadvertently color her entire fingers orange, a vibrant reminder of his rustic roots. Balsam flowers have been used traditionally in Korea for both cosmetic and medicinal purposes. Nowadays, these flowers are more commonly found in products like perfumes and incense. The recounting of this memory resonated deeply with fans, eliciting a wave of admiration for Jimin's nurturing qualities and his close bond with his mother. A fan drew parallels between Jimin's anecdote and a scene from the Netflix drama Queen of Tears, where a character uses balsam flower dye in a romantic context highlighting the cultural significance of this practice. Fans also expressed appreciation for the way Jimin's parents encouraged his creative expression from a young age, allowing him to explore different ways of expressing affection and artistry. This encouragement is seen as foundational to his development as an artist who is not only talented, but also deeply empathetic and expressive. Such parental support is crucial in nurturing creativity and emotional intelligence in children, providing them with a safe environment to express themselves and explore their interests. As someone who has witnessed the positive impact of supportive parenting on artistic growth, it's clear that Jimin's family environment played a significant role in shaping the person and artist he is today. In addition to sharing this personal memory, the video also features Jimin performing two tracks from his latest album, Muse, which includes a collaboration with Sophia Carson. This album and its songs like Rebirth and Slow Dance showcase his evolution as an artist, reflecting his experiences and emotions in a way that continues to resonate with a global audience. On August 4th, the South Korean media giant Naver disclosed intriguing details about BTS member Jin's forthcoming television program, Run Jin. This show, a derivative of the beloved Run BTS series, marks Jin's first solo endeavor in the entertainment domain since his debut. The original series saw Jin, alongside his group members, participating in a range of activities both individually and as a team. The production team behind Run Jin expressed considerable enthusiasm for this new project, highlighting Jin's well-known comedic flair and versatility in entertainment as central to the show's appeal. They suggested that an exciting aspect of the show would be Jin's interaction with new guests, which they anticipate will create engaging on-screen chemistry. Just days after his military discharge in June, Jin began filming for his solo variety show. He quickly reconnected with fans during Festa, an annual event celebrating BTS' debut, which took place the day after his discharge. Known for his charismatic presence and humor, Jin is poised to cement his position as a formidable variety show personality. According to the production team's statement, Jin's new solo venture is designed to demonstrate his adaptability and breadth of skills, motivated by a desire to reciprocate the love and support of his fans. This mindset of embracing challenges and engaging with new experiences resonates deeply with those who appreciate the nuances of personal growth and reinvention, especially in the context of transitioning from a group setting to individual pursuits. In his past appearances on platforms like YouTube and various television shows, Jin has consistently attracted significant viewership, underscoring his popularity and the anticipation surrounding his new solo projects. Run Jin is set to premiere on Weverse on August 13th, with a subsequent release on BTS's official YouTube channel an hour later, and new episodes releasing weekly. Having completed his mandatory military service, Jin is now navigating a packed schedule, which includes preparations for his upcoming solo debut album, a path similar to that taken by his fellow group members prior to their enlistments. This phase of Jin's career highlights themes of perseverance and innovation, illustrating how personal and professional growth often intersect in the lives of public figures, offering a broader reflection on the nature of celebrity and creativity in the modern age. In the realm of K-pop, the debate over whether idols should debut at a young age continues to stir controversy. One notable example often cited is Jungkook, who entered the music industry at 15. While many point to his achievements as a testament to the potential benefits of early debuts, a closer examination suggests the complexities and challenges faced by such young artists. Jungkook himself has hinted at the difficulties of starting his career at such a tender age. On a variety show, he acknowledged that he began working too soon, 
reflecting a sentiment echoed in his music where he discusses the rapid pace of his upbringing in the spotlight. Despite his monumental success, Jungkook has shared that he missed out on educational opportunities and often felt less prepared than his peers. The narrative that surrounds Jungkook's early days highlights a broader issue within the industry. Despite his quick ascent to stardom, the singer has spoken about the emotional challenges of training and performing without the presence of his family, revealing that he often felt a deep sense of isolation. This was somewhat mitigated by the support of his bandmates, who became like a second family to him, yet the dynamics could not replicate the parental guidance he lacked during his formative years. Moreover, the responsibilities thrust upon him at such a young age, being a central figure in BTS as the main vocalist and lead dancer, brought an immense pressure that is often overlooked when discussing his early successes. The scrutiny was intense. Even trivial matters like his appearance were magnified and critiqued publicly, adding to the already heavy burden he carried. The situation raises ethical considerations about the treatment of young idols in the entertainment industry. While the camaraderie within BTS provided some support, the broader context in which Jungkook and similar idols operate often involves intense public and professional pressures that can have lasting impacts on their personal and psychological development. Critics argue that companies should rethink the practice of debuting minors, pointing to the mixed experiences of idols like Jungkook as evidence of the potential harm versus the perceived benefits. This conversation highlights the need for a more protective approach that prioritizes the well-being and development of young talents over the commercial advantages their early exposure might offer. As fans and industry stakeholders continue to navigate these discussions, it becomes clear that success stories like Jungkook's should be viewed with nuance, recognizing both the achievements and the personal costs involved. This balanced perspective is crucial in shaping a more ethical and supportive K-pop industry.